Here we are in beautiful Montieri, Italy, under a tree. And we are at the Hotel Pratigiano. This is actually the side entrance. We'll walk down and show you the view and talk a little bit about Italy and the Hotel Pratigiano and our experiences here. And here is the entrance to the hotel and the reception desk. It's lunchtime, so there's no one at the reception desk right now. And the sign. And why don't we go upstairs? Should we go upstairs or, or sit outside first? Let's sit outside first. And then over here we have the patio with some chairs to enjoy the view. And there's Andrea throwing a peach pit off the, off the balcony. And there's the view. And down below is the some some more rooms and the pool and a stable with 16 or 17 horses. Where did Andrea go? I could ask him. I think it's 17 horses. And so today I have with me my expert, Dane. He's going to answer some questions about Italy. Yay. Yay. And about the hotel. So first tell me about the Hotel Pratigiano. Do you like staying here? Or do you like it here? Do you like the people? Um, I, I, I really like it here. I, I haven't really stayed here a night yet, but I usually... Because we stay at, a, at an apartment, but yeah. we spend a lot of time here at the hotel. We come here in the mornings, sometimes all day, just hanging chillax. out, chillaxing. chillaxing. So, so tell me about the people here. Oh, the people were very nice. They could all, they could speak English. Someone's on my shoulder there. Uh, we, they could all speak English, all the employees, so that's a good thing. Yeah. And they're, they're really nice overall. So, very nice. And? Like pass by, say hi. Yeah. And what do you think of the Italian language? Do you like it? Do you like it? Um, I don't, I, it's not bad, but I don't really know it, so I don't have a very big opinion. Right, except it. when, uh, remember you, when we got here, after a few days, you said, boy, I'd like to learn how to speak Italian. Do you still feel that way? Um, kind of, if we, if I, because you're going to be here for a while, I might want to know how to speak something. Yeah, that would be Instead nice. Of just hi and bye. It would be nice, but it's nice to be able to say hi and bye. So, what do you think? The, what do you think of the weather? Uh, the weather's nice. Um, it's like a, it's like it's like Greece. It's like a perfect mix of not too hot, not too cold, and it rains every now and then. Just a nice little uh, rain, so it doesn't get too hot around here. It's perfect. And the beach? You've been to the beach? Oh yeah, that was so fun. We built epic sand castles and. The sand is not hot, so it doesn't burn your feet. It's all soft. And the water is like the perfect temperature. Oh. It's like really warm. And the waves are nice. They're not like huge weather. You can like, they can like totally like bring you underwater. They're just like a nice normal, so you can like just mess around and stuff in the water. Yeah. And uh, how about the trains? Oh, the trains. Oh, there's. I mean, the other trains are like are are. They're good, but there's this one train. Call it the fancy train. It's amazing because it's like it's three. It's three layers. You got bottom layer, middle layer, and top layer uh, of the train. And every and it's always like we got really nice chairs. They got all really nice and comfy. Got like the place like for the where your head is they go up so you can like sleep without like falling on someone and every time we go on the fancy train um there's like no one in our cart uh, like the part of the train car, car. yeah Ca 
car. Car. So there's like no one there, so me and my two brothers, we can just like run around and play because there's no one to disturb because it's just us. Yeah. And it's really fun. It's really and nice. did you think it was easy to figure out which train to catch and where to get it and what time it was coming? And What do you mean by easy? Like? <laughs> well, did you think it was easy? Did you, did you think, uh, you know, like were there enough signs that told you which train was coming oh. to which station yeah yeah it wasn't like confusing yeah because usually every place we want to go a train comes like maybe every hour or half an hour so we don't have to wait for too long right so it's really it's really nice yeah um let's see what else can i ask you uh what did you think of luca uh luca luca is so fun um because when you get on the train get off the train to luca there, you can rent bikes because they have a wall around the city, and you can just ride around the wall. And there's like epic parks on the wall. It's really nice. You can see the great view of the city, and it's not one of those like skinny. It's like really, really thick. So you can have like ten riders riding like side by side on this big wall. On this big, on big wall. But you might hit some people <laughs> if you're not watching. Where are you going? Or you know blocking the way they're gonna have to like duck and cover probably yeah so what did you think of uh punta ala do you remember that where we the the harbor with all the boats oh yeah um we weren't there for that long were we no. not not for long but i like it you can see all the boats they have a really good sunset that the sunset's really nice it was beautiful it was really nice and we had dinner there Mm-hmm. We had nice, uh, what we had? I don't know. We had pasta there. Oh, yeah. So, and but cake. The best, yeah, we had cake. The best part was they have, like, this the most adorable tiny forks ever. <laughs> They're, like, super tiny. Cause, and the appetizer, you use it to eat, like, baby octop octopi. <laughs> yeah. Small octopi. Yeah. So, and they got, like, the tiniest forks and I just, I, because I loved it so much, I just used it to eat the pasta because it's like, it's so tiny. It's like, mm. So, uh, next question. Uh, the water. Do you drink the water here? Um, yeah, it's, it's really nice water. It's, it's, it's like not different. Out from, of the faucet kind of water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. It's very tasty, I think. I think it's very good water. It's really good. Um, have you had a chance to walk to the apartment in the dark? I think like one one dark. night. Well, one night after the sun went down for quite some time, you you guys walked home uh -huh. from here, which is so walking home is about eight minutes or so down the hill, down to the well, town of Montieri, yeah. where yeah, where apartment. the apartment is. So did you did you get a chance to do that in the dark? Uh, I know Paris has done it several times. Yeah, I think we did it with we did it with Paris and stuff. All three of us walking downstairs. Uh, walking down the hill and, and did it feel safe yeah it was it was nice because we were just mostly like messing around and just jumping around yeah yeah so it felt like a safe place to be feels like a safe place to be yeah yeah that was kind of my point because I like I love that you guys feel comfortable that you can come and go and it feels safe and easy and it's just tiring <laughs> tiring going up and down go the hill <laughs> And so you've been making your own videos. That's mm -hmm. been fun. Yeah. I love watching those videos. Uh, let's see. What else can I ask you about? Um, oh, the Euro. Did And you went shopping by yourself or with your brothers? Yeah, yeah. All three of us. We had like, all, combining all of our money, we had like about maybe three, three Euro 50 cents. Uh-huh. And we went to the grocery store, like, a little, it's just a little mini, I'm going to call it a mini store. Uh-huh. Like, a few houses away, it was really close. We could just, like, walk for, like, um, it takes, like, 20 seconds, literally, <laughs> to get out of the apartment, get in. And so we just picked out ice cream that was uh, 3 euro, 15 cents, or is it, like, 3.15 euro? I don't really know how. 3 say. euro, 15 cents. That's, okay. Yeah. And we went to the And then we went to the tiny little place to, to buy it. I, I put out my money, I gave it to him, the person, and yeah, I got it, it was fun. It was easy, you could do it all by yourself, no prob. 
Let's see, what else can I ask you? Sleeping here is comfortable. We usually sleep with the windows open because it's so nice all night. Mm -hmm. um, we, we hear church bells at night, though. Oh, yeah. I like Every I kind of like it. Every half an hour, it's like, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> well, they, it doesn't wake you up, though. That's a good thing. That is nice. So it's, when you're awake, you can hear it easily. They ring the number of, uh, of the, the hour, hour. And, then, a, and then only once on the half hour. Yeah, but it it's sounds, extra, it's, I think it's like a different bell, maybe? Just like a ding. Maybe, yeah, just a soft Probably little bell. Probably so everyone can tell, like, is it 11, 11.30 or 12? Yeah, and then sometimes if, if there's a celebration, they, they ring the bells a lot. And <laughs> it's like, do, 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 do. I love that. Uh, let's see, what else can I ask you? What do you think about this place? What do you think about the the being in a place that's full of so many old buildings and medieval towns and oh I, I like it I, it's it's really cool because it's like it looks like stone walls so it looks like it's really sturdy and then when you go in it's all nice and fancy like, <laughs> just, know, like the hotel okay we'll go in the hotel and show the inside yeah. and uh, is there anything else you want to add are you enjoying spending time with your brothers and yeah. your and your mummy yes we have lots of fun yes um, okay, well, let's just take a tour inside and see the hotel. Let's go. Let's go. There's the front door. Nice. And the opening system. The bar is over here. Very nice bar with an, a door to the patio we were just standing on. And flat screen TV. We have the stairs going up. And there's the meeting room over here. Got a bathroom here. A bathroom here. Bathroom here. Oh, you know what? It's actually kind of a nice bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> like speaking of modern, it's a nice modern bathroom with with uh, marble all over. Oops, I didn't mean to step on your toe. And there are 28 rooms. And there's nice, comfortable couches. You can just hang here and sing down. You just sink into the couch. Yes, it's very comfortable in here. And a place to play cards and games and a fireplace. And a place to hang out and look at the view. The incredible view. And sometimes if, it, if a storm is coming, it's really fun to watch a storm go by. And then the sun, sun comes out again. Here's our beautiful view out the window. Those buildings down below are, are more rooms to the hotel. And then the one, like I said, the one in the background is the stable. Oh, I didn't ask you, Dane, about the riding. You got to go horseback riding. What did you think of that? Oh, that was really fun. We got, uh, we got trained by Christina. Yeah, Christina. Yeah, one of the employees here, because um, we don't know too much about <clears throat> riding and controlling a horse. Mm -hmm. So we went around a few, like, little box, train, got, getting, learning the controls, kind of, yeah. if you want to say it like that. Yeah. And then we went out, and then we went on the trail going back to the city, and it was really fun. I was trying to keep, it's like a challenge to try to keep my horse to, from stopping and eating the grass. Yeah. And, like, about when we almost got there, we turned back and went back. It was really nice. Wasn't too many cars. And it made you want to do some more riding, huh? Yeah. All right. Well, I think that's the end of our, our little introductory video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.